get to open the first off-leash dog park in the high desert. So this is a big thing. All of us are so happy to see that this has happened up here. Quite a few of you have mentioned that you go down to other cities down the hill just to go to a dog park, and now you don't have to. This is absolutely fantastic. So I'd like to present this to, in recognition of the leash cutting ceremony for the Civic Center Dog Park held at, on September the 8th, 2012, in conjunction with the 7th Annual Paws and Claws Pet Fair. On behalf of the City of Victorville Council, I'd like to present this proclamation to the Apple Valley Council for their dedication to animals. And uh, you have a wonderful, wonderful dog park here as well as an animal shelter. And we really appreciate you and, and thank you for leading the way. As uh, president of the CEO of Uncommon Dialogue Films, Patrick has a slate of projects in production, including a television series called Natural Laws. And it's concerning U.S. Fish and Wildlife Special Agents amidst global threats of illegal wildlife trafficking. So again, we thank you for your dedication and coming out today and, and enjoying so your So I try time. to do as many things as I can with veterans and children and animals. Certainly animals represent a, a, a tremendous source of innocence and love. And so I, I really applaud you for what you've done. You've all taken a, a great step towards defending the innocent and uh, those who give us so much, the animals. Actually, uh, I, I'm very proud of Gina and her her persistence in bringing this project to fruition, and and I know that she, as well as I, uh, want to express our appreciation to the park staff who uh, who really uh, came together and and got this park put together in time for this opening. This this work was all done in house with in house staff, and it, it saved a tremendous amount of money had it uh, over had it gone out. To I have to say, I remember my first day going into the shelter and somebody said there was a, a, a citizen out front that needs to talk to me and she wouldn't leave until she did. And it was Jane Dollar. And so what Jane Dollar did is she said, Gina, how do we get a dog park in this community and what do I need to do to make sure it happens? And then she gave us a thousand dollar check. And it took us a while to move forward. We got grants and, and as Dennis stated, staff moved really, worked very hard to put the final components of this together.